Zelda Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, I wanted to head back to Kakariko Village. Of course, I've been here before and we sort of adventured around a little bit, but we didn't get too much done because I was mostly preoccupied with getting the Zoro's Domain. Now with that out of the way, let's check out Kakariko Village. There's a lot to do here. Like, there's like the ring ruins to explore, so I'm mostly gonna focus on those. Okay, we've arrived back here at Kakariko. And as you can see, there's a lot of these different ring ruins. This one specifically, I think I still need a picture of, because I deleted the picture before because I ran out of space. I need that for one of the stables that isn't too far from here. So I should probably work on those soon. Oh no, I didn't really mean to start falling, but I don't really know which one to get into first because we met, not Pura, one of them way over there. I think I read this one before too. Southern Ring Ruin Research Journal. Yeah, yeah, we did read this. Okay, so. Yeah, that's sort of what I'm after in today's episode, is just explore as many of the ring runes as possible. I don't know if I did any of these, but if I could get some more of them, it'd probably be a good idea. So if we go all the way down here, and hold a couple of Zonai charges, and get some more pods. I feel like I've been sort of running low lately, so this might be a good reason just to fill up as much as I can. There we go, we get a whole bunch of them. I don't think we'll get anything new. Oh no, we do, the stabilizer. A perfectly balanced Zonai device, it stands upright when activated. It was used to sec secure footholds in unstable places, such as Sky Islands. Very cool. I think we have used that before, but cool to have it in a pod. I think we only got one of them, maybe two. But we'll just be exploring around as much as I can and uh, just trying to get stuff done. Is that a new frog? I don't think so. It's just a sticky frog, but I can walk up to it and grab it real quick. Might stick to us a little, but uh, we'll get up here. And I guess this is the Southern Ring Ruin? It might be, it looks like it. So, is there any way I can sort of just hop into them? That's sort of the thing is I don't really see too much of an entrance, but I guess over here, I know a lot of them were sort of off limits according to some of the villagers down below, but ooh, here we go. Nothing, nothing. Uh... Maybe there isn't anything here after all. This is where I found the Sundelion, so there must be seeds or something, but. And I'll, let, I'll, I'll bet tourists visiting the stone slab are going to trample everything soon. Come on, come on. Sundelion? Gah, where did you come from? Sorry. I suppose I should have been paying more attention, but come now, sneaking up on people isn't very nice. Mm hmm? Ah, sorry. Are you interested in the Sundelion? Mm. The Sundelion is a new species of plant. The first one was found on ruins that fell from the sky. I believe that means they grow on the sky islands. I'm still in the middle of my investigation, but early results indicate that they have some sort of relation with the relationship with the gloom. <sighs> if I can prove that, I think that they might help those suffering from gloom exposure or aid our research of the depths. In any case, it's rare to find them on the surface, so I'm using the village's plum garden to see if I can cultivate them. <sighs> I found one near the stone slab, so I'm looking for any seeds that might have fallen. Stone slab? <sighs> Look here, see? That's a stone slab. Oh, the text on the slab is from the Zonai civilization, so it's beyond me. But our leader has studied it, uh, the Zonai language pretty thoroughly and has had an idea of what it all means. Mm. According to him, the stone slab in these ruins are is a record of Hyrule during those ancient days. It says that some people called sages kept the kingdom safe from some kind of demon king. We know all about that. I can't remember exactly what the, the slab says, why bother when the translated text is right right there next to it? Besides, my hands are full with my Sundelion research. I don't have time to get in the weeds with sages and demon kings and whatnot. Uh. Ah, sorry, just thinking out loud. Now, please excuse me. I have to hurry back to my Sundelion research. All right, you have fun with that. I don't know if I'll need a picture of this, but apparently this is the translation right over here. The stone slab at the Southern Ring Ruin. Some translation notes, Taro. Who protect of Hyrule from the demon king together. King. There were known as sages. So it looks like it's not fully translated yet. What I take from this is that it's about a facet of Hyrule as it was in those days. If I were to guess at how to fill in the gaps, it'd go something like, there were those known as sages who protected the kingdom of Hyrule from the demon king. Which definitely seems to be the case from our experience. So we'll look around the slabs, for, for the slabs as much as we can. I don't know if we'll find too much more, but uh, maybe I can head up here. I'll take a good look around this way. We're not really sure how much 
these ring ruins are supposed to have in store for us. I figured that there was a quest, but I looked at my quests and I didn't see anything relating to Kakarika Village specifically, so I don't know if I missed anything. See, wasn't this the part where there was somebody sort of blocking this? They're like, nope, you can't enter. And I think that was on the other side. Okay, well this is this one sort of discovered. It's really that big one that I'm trying to get to eventually, but if I can just take a good look around now, you can see it looks like there's more over there. So maybe I should start making some markers. I actually have them all used, so I guess not. But this is still a really good spot to sort of scout out where I could go next. It doesn't look like there's anything beyond that way. Oh, whoa, it's the dragon again. Have I gotten a picture of them? I haven't, this is Nydra. Whoa, so cool. I have to do something about that at some point. Uh, but for right now, I'm heading over here. And I want to try figuring out these runes. So you can see there's a lot of pieces of runes over here. So I definitely just sort of want to take a good look and see what we can do. Oh, hey! Got the Kukos. The Kukos. Your Kuko, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Give you a little toss. I think they can fly, right? I hope they can fly. I think they can fly. <laughs> Sorry! I didn't really mean to throw them off the edge. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, uh, can I go over here? Oh, oh no, I'm in trouble! Hey, you there! Come here! Oh no, I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. Haven't you heard? It's strictly forbidden to get near that ring ruin by Princess Zelda's orders. So you'd better be on your way. Princess Zelda's orders? Oh. You heard me. Princess Zelda came out of Kakarika Village the other day and told everyone to steer clear of that ring ruin. Oh. She left in a hurry, so I didn't quite catch the why of it all. As you've surely noticed, these ruins could come crumbling down at any time. So folks need to keep away so they don't get injured. I'm sure that there, there, that's where her concerns were coming from. Well, now we know that that wasn't Zelda at all. That was the Demon King. Under Princess Zelda's orders, everyone is strictly forbidden from getting close to that ring. It, if that applies to an archaeologist like me, it certainly applies to an amateur like you. I would brave crumbling architecture if it gave us more research material, but it's not worth disobeying the princess. What if she stripped my title? I worked my whole life for some recognition. I won't give it up now. So how do I get around all that? Maybe I just need to not touch the little fence? Yo. I know, hey, you there. <laughs> I know, come here. I'm not even close to it. So maybe if I were just to be able to fly over it, who knows? Okay, so we'll leave you be. I really wanna get in there and poke around, but I'd be directly opposing Princess Zelda's orders. Is this the end of my dream that someday Princess Zelda will call me Dr. Callet? Maybe it is. That's disappointing. Oh, okay, you guys have something to say. Mm. Master Link. Hello. Huh. Are you thinking about the floating ring ruin? I'm as well. It has been on our mind for some time. Mm. We would like to suggest resuming the research, if we may. Have you since figured out what became of Princess Zelda? I have. It wasn't her after all. <laughs> what? The Zelda who appeared after the upheaval was a creation of the Demon King? And the real Princess Zelda still hasn't been found? But how can this be true? Mm. It's such an unbelievable tale. And yet... I trust you completely, Master Link. It must be as you say. It is hard to explain, but the princess we saw was somehow unfamiliar. It was as though her very aura was different. Mm -hmm. But if she was an imposter the whole time, that would mean the real reason she ordered us to close off the floating ring ruin was <gasps> because the Demon King saw it as a threat. Isn't that right? That only means one thing. We should investigate the floating ring ruin immediately. Mm -hmm. You're exactly right. There's no longer any reason to prohibit your research. Let's open up the floating ring ruin at, the, at once, Mr. Toro. Mm. Knowledge is tugging on the line. Time to reel in some results. <laughs> <laughs> your oral and phrasing is coming through, Mr. Toro. You must really be pr pleased. Mm. It's just, hmm, there's one problem. We still need to determine how to conduct the survey. Oh. It's clear that the interior of this ring ruins is hollow. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be an entrance. If the contents of the other ring ruins are any indication, there should be a stone slab inside engraved with Zonai script. Mm. First, we should look for a way to confirm that there's a stone slab inside. However, we also don't want to damage those precious ruins. <laughs> oh, pardon me, I was lost in thought. I'd better, better hurry and, and tell everyone about this so we can open up the ruins. <laughs> okay, cool, so we'll be allowed in now. That's amazing. So I guess this is what we were really waiting for. Secret of the Ring Ruins, our main quest has a new objective. Cool, so I wanna take a look at that. 
A couple of things being updated here, very exciting. So first off, we have the Secret of the Ring Ruins. After you told Paya and Tur Taro about the false Princess Zelda, they began exploring the Ring Ruin previously forbidden by the Imposter. They believe there is a stone slab carved with Zonai writing inside. Entering the site and investigating the slab will assist their research. And then also there was an update to the Find the Fifth Sage. According to Taro, an account relating to the sages is in the Ring Ruins. If you continue your investiga investigation in the ruins, you may learn something about the Fifth Sage. I would sure hope so. So that's what we're going to be chasing after for now, but we might as well talk to these other characters to see what they have to say. Finding out that the Princess Zelda I met what with was a pawn of the Demon King. How to put this to words? Let's just say it's thrown me off my balance. It's so hard to believe. And yet, I do believe you, Master Link. I cannot bring myself to doubt you for even a moment. And if these ruins pose some kind of threat to the Demon King, then we must accelerate our research at all costs. However, looking inside the ruins without damaging them is a difficult hurdle, one well beyond my understanding. Please, Master Link, lend your wisdom to Mr. Taro with your help, I'm certain a way forward will be revealed. Awesome. Oh. Honestly, I was taken aback when I heard that Princess Zelda was an imposter. That's a lot to swallow, you know? But I'm so glad that I can finally stir my long chair's research on the floating ring ruin. Oh. The only trouble is, I still can't figure out a way to see the stone slab inside. I can't condone breaking these precious ruins. This riddle is a tough one to be sure. Uh. Still, my hook's baited now, and I'm not letting go until I get a bite. Well, I think I know how to help with that. Mm -hmm. Ah, you again. We're busy researching that floating ring ruin. Don't get in the way. <laughs> hey, okay, this guy's a little rude. But yeah, it looks like we now have the ability just to sort of hang out up here, which is great. Um, The first thing I definitely want to check out is just this larger one on the bottom. So if we just climb up here like this, I don't know if there's like too much I can do, but I figure we'll just climb up the old fashioned way to see if there's maybe any extra journals or anything to run into as we're getting closer to the top. Ooh, look at this, this is so cool. So I don't know if this one is actually hollow. I mean, it could be is the thing. What if I were to, I don't know, ooh, ooh, ooh. Not quite working the way I wanted to. Okay, let's try this. Is this one hollow? No, okay, that's good to know, but it looks like there's some extra scaffolding in the back. So I'm just trying to find my way up, just get a good idea of how all this is set up. Uh, it looks like with this box, I should probably just try to break this one, right? There we go. Get a couple arrows out of it, so that's nice. Uh, we gotta climb it from the other side. There we go. We'll break this one too. Oh, that didn't break it. Whoops. Here. Go like this. Oh no! Okay, never mind. Not worth falling to my doom. Okay, well, let's climb up this way then. I'll leave these boxes be. Even though I really wanna just get the. No, no, come on. The extra stuff out of them. It's getting pretty rainy out here. I don't think I've done that trying yet. I'll check that out at some point. Honestly, a lot of the sort of southeastern part of the map, yeah, I have not really touched much. So that's definitely gonna be a goal pretty soon. I don't even know exactly where we are at this rate, but it looks like the ruins just keep going. Okay, we're up here now. I don't really see too much on top of there. Do I have anything that would break this easily? I mean, sort of, kind of. We have like the black mob on hammer. There we go. Should probably not use that though. I should use something that doesn't have as much damage to it. Hmm. I don't see too much over there. So once again, we're just sort of continuing our climb and whoa, there's people up here. Oh my, wake up. Wake up, oh please wake up. So Guru's now far off and if he finds out someone's been sleeping on the stone slabs, a priceless artifact, I'll be the one who gets it. Stone slab? Oh wow, I do see what they're saying now. I thought it was a bed. Ah uh, yeah, stone slabs are, well, slabs. Like the one this guy's sleeping on. The survey team discovered stone slabs in, in each of the ring ruin sites here. They found this one in the ruins above us. Ah. Our leader is able to read Zonai writing and says that text on this slab is a record of historic fight. One that was between a great king of that era and the demon king. The ruler did not or could not defeat the demon king and instead imprison that mighty foe. The text also says that the sages who fought besides this ruler left something behind in case the demon king returned. Mm. It worries me to know that this discovery talks about a demon king's return, and here the upheaval has just happened. If only we knew what those sages did to prepare in case he came back. Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to think and fret at the same time there. 
You can read the deciphered writing for yourself. It's all right next to the stone slab. Where's the inn owner? Oh, okay, how would they know? Huh? The inn owner is him, that guy there. He came to change your beds, but then I realized he'd fallen sound asleep. Nothing wakes him up. I tried shouting and then shaking him, nothing. Aww. What's more, he decided to doze off on top of this priceless stone slab. He's been saying truffle now and then. Maybe he's having a dream of eating a hearty truffle. Mm. I wonder if he'd wake up if he smelled one right under his nose. But it's hard to get a, a hearty truffle. They're pretty rare. Yeah, I did, I did find one, however. Whoa. Whoa, way down there? Oh. It was bobbing along under that waterfall. I don't know if somebody dropped the truffle there or if it floated in from somewhere else. <sighs> I've gotta do something about this guy soon, though. Sakuru's in the ruins above, and he'll come back here eventually. Maybe I can help out with that? I know they're in a snooth, soothing and all, but seriously? <laughs> if anyone blabs to Saguru that someone is sleeping in the stone slab, I don't know what I'll do. Okay, so it looks like they don't have anything else to say. I've gotta do something about this guy soon now. Okay. Uh... My lovely hearty truffle, fungus in my dreams, your aroma is unmistakable. You may hide, but my nose knows. So what if I just gave them like any kind of hearty truffle? Do I have any at the moment? I'm not quite sure. I have a lot of stuff in my inventory, but I might have, okay, I have one hearty truffle. If I were just to hold this and then drop it. Oh, that worked. Oh, that worked. <laughs> a gentle aroma with a strong, hearty undertone. My dear hearty truffle, I have you now. Oh, you're up. Wakey, wakey. Uh, huh? Was, was that just a dream? And where am I? That's right. I was changing the beds. Anyway, thank you for waking me up. I need to hurry back to the inn. Ooh, that traveler is going to be so mad at me. Oh yeah, the traveler was managing the inn. That was so silly. So, out of the inn has been updated. You found the inn's owner, Ollie, sleeping in a survey team tent. You woke him up with a whiff of a hearty truffle, and he hurried back to the inn. You should do the same, just to see how things are going over there. So I'll definitely do that soon. Hey now, get your feet off the stone slab. I was just trying to get my truffle back. All right, all right. What about my, no, is my truffle just gone? This is one of the priceless artifacts from the Ring Ruins, so please be careful. Okay, no, it's right there. Take it, okay, there we go. So here is the journal for the slab. The stone slab at the large Ring Ruin. Some translation notes, Taro. The Demon King, vast power, no hope. Victory, King's own life, managed. Imprisoned him, imprisoned, not, indefinitely. Prepare, demon, revival. We say just must leave our knowledge. Future generations. Reading between the lines, this stone slab seems to be a record of how the king in those days challenged the demon king. If I had to extrapolate the meaning, I'd guess at something like this. The reigning king determined that they were no match for the demon king and gave his own life to imprison the threat. The sages tried to leave something for the people of the future who would have to prepare for the Demon King's revival. Interesting. So I guess all of these slabs and information was all left for us to discover so that we could keep the Demon King trapped forever under the Hyrule Castle. But with that being said, what made it so lost to time? What happened that we couldn't keep this information? Note on the table, Large Ring Ruin Research Journal, Saguru. There are five ruins around the village but what, what I call the large ring ruin is clearly the most impressive in scale. Though parts of it have collapsed, it is the only ruin to retain its circular shape. As with the other ruins, a stone slab inscribed with the Zonai script was found in the rubble. We have stored the slab in a tent at the nearby camp, which is what we have right over here. So what I'm curious about is that we, we found two slabs so far. We have three more left to find, so I gotta keep that in mind, just so we can make sure we're actually finding everything. Do we have anything here that's like, Good for breaking stuff. I might just wanna keep what I have then. Um, either that or I could use the stone talus hammer. That might just be a bit better. Let's see. Got it. Got it. Okay, it's just a couple of arrows. So maybe it's not worth all of that trouble. But arrows are important to have. I should probably buy some more with rupees too. Well, get back up here. And so we're getting a whole lot closer. Wow, that dragon is close. And that's the same Nidra. It is so close. I want to get a picture like that, though, for sure, because it's such a cool, cool monster. We follow the dragons in Breath of the Wild, but 
man, what a view. So I gotta keep in mind that it'll show up so close to Kakarika Village if we ever do want to go and fight that thing, which I assume we would do want to eventually. Look at how close it's getting. Whoa. It's getting really close. Oh man. I don't know if I should go do that right now. It's like gonna land in... Is it going into the depths? Whoa, wait a minute, I think it is. Was there depths over there before? I'm like just now noticing all that. I'm so confused. I don't think I can get there in time. I think by the time I get over there, it'll be gone, but... Whoa. I mean, this is good to keep in mind because it'll eventually pop back up. Right, I'd imagine. I'm just sort of enjoying this view. That is so crazy. Uh, Oh, there's somebody else to talk to, but I just want to keep watching this for a bit as it slowly gets in. Is it like teleporting somewhere, I wonder? It might just be doing that. Huh, that's crazy. Whoa, look at this giant diving board we got here. Yeah, this is the top of a river. And then this is like the completed ring. Okay, I can see where we are now. That makes sense. Yeah, it's just sort of going. Ugh, ran in my eye. So is this is Saguru? It is. Hmm, did Pura send you? I'm Saguru. Nice to meet you. I specialize in studying the Sky Islands. I mean, look at all these fascinating ruins just dropping out of the sky. Great stuff, right? Huh? huh? Wait, you're not with the survey team. This is an official Ring Ruins research site. It's dangerous here for civilians. <laughs> but if you're the sort of guy who comes all the way out here for curiosity's sake, you must be a researcher at heart. Since you're here, I'm happy to answer questions. Um, as long as they're about the Sky Islands. What are Sky Islands? Oh. You know when you start daydreaming and stir off into the sky, and then you go, whoa, a floating ruin? That's a Sky Island. Oh. Remnants of the Zonai civilization, like the, the, these ring ruins, have fallen all over. Turns out they come from the Sky Islands, which means <laughs> the whole Zonai legacy is up, up there. The islands are untouched, so everything must be well preserved. Huh. I'm not boring you, am I? because I can go on about the Skylands forever. Go ahead, ask me anything. Anything you live up there? <laughs> like we don't already know, we've been up there. We're not sure what lives there, but we found new species of plant around the fallen ruins. And if there are plants, I'm sure other things live up there too. If you're interested in that sort of thing. Oh. Try talking to Cory. She's a resident plant expert. Right now, she's trying to cultivate plants that were attached to the ruins. I think we did talk to her, yeah. If that interests you, you should definitely ask her about it. I'm not boring you, am I? Because I can go on about the Skylands forever. Go ahead, ask me anything. What makes you curious? Hmm. I want to know more about armor made with Zonai Tech. Clothing and culture are tied together, and there's so much we don't know about either of them. So many mysteries. Anyway, the bigger the Sky Island, the bigger the settlements. We think some sort of cultural relic must be up there. But since we can't get up there, it's all conjecture. I'll have the, to content my, my, myself studying the Ring Ruins. Oh. We don't have a way to get to the Sky Islands, at least not yet. I'd love to go someday. I bet the folks in Terrytown could improve the balloon. I wish I had a reason to head northeast. I'd love to go to Terrytown. See, the dragon's almost gone. I'm pretty sure all that red stuff will clear up after. Just crazy that, that happened so close to Kakarika Village and nobody mentions it. Uh, see, so yeah, I guess they didn't really have too much to say. I don't know if we'll start sliding around yet because it's rainy out. I don't know, this might not be a good idea actually. I might just have to wait for the rain to pass, but now the dragon is through there. I want to go through like this. I don't know if there's gonna be an inside to this ring ruin, at least from this angle but I figured this could at least help me get to the top of it. Sort of. I don't know if there'll be anything at the top, but I'd have to imagine, or maybe even just down here. So I'm looking for more slabs and basically anything else we can find. Ooh, here's a chest. Definitely wanna grab this. So, opening this up. We got a large donate, very cool. Nothing too crazy, but I mean, I'll take what I can get. And we want to try to get yeah, right up this way, just farther up this ring ruin. Oh, now we're way up here. Quite the view from up here, huh? 
Whoa, whoa, don't fall off. Okay, be very careful. But now we're way up here. Oh, this is definitely a Korok seed. That one hole is still over there, though. You found me, I did. All right, well, that's six Korok seeds. I don't know. I swear that wasn't there before, but maybe I'm just wrong. Yeah, it's just like opened up now. Was that always there? It must have been. Okay, well, I don't really see too much more I can do with this one. I honestly thought it would have more. But, if there isn't anything more, then I guess we could try uh, getting around to some of the other spots. Because this floating one was one that we were trying to get into, right? So we'll get over here, try to figure out some of this. I'm right on top of it. Ring Ruins of West Nekluda. And I guess just from under it, because they were saying there was a clear way yet to get inside, they couldn't find a way in. Luckily, we can. So now we're in here, and look at this, there's another slab. So I should probably just take a photo of this, I'm guessing. Ring Ruins student slab. So if we can show this to Taro, that might be our best bet, because we can't read it ourselves. But we can definitely get somebody else to. So we got that out of the way. This will be technically the third stone slab. So we're still looking for two more. I thought the really big ring would have one, but I didn't see that. And we've already done that shrine. Maybe that really was there the whole time. <laughs> so weird. Uh, I guess I really didn't go up here too much, so it makes sense, but. We're just gonna head straight back down this way. And I don't think we need to worry about that too much. So yeah, let's talk to Taro really quickly. He didn't just, did he? Huh? It looked like he disappeared into the ring. But that can't be right. Ah, forget I said anything. I might have imagined it. Uh, you're seeing things. <laughs> of course, how silly of me. <laughs> just wanna see what the rest of them say. Uh, Master Link, did I just see you go inside of the floating ring ruin? I just, no, never mind. It's nothing. My eyes were cl are clearly playing tricks on me. It, you, it looks like you were s sucked into the ring ruin. No, impossible. Forget it. Forget everything I just said. These long hours must be getting to me. All right, then. I'll show you the uh, the picture. What about this image? What's this you've got? Huh? Could it could it really be? Paya, Caleb, look at this. Very cool. No. Could this be the interior of the floating ring ruin? Wow, this the stone slab is so clearly visible. Ah. There appears to be Zonai inscriptions on this stone as well, or this one as well, just like in the other ring ruins. Taro, if you would. Ah. Right, let me see what I can decipher. Hmm, promise, Zelda, solemnly signed, Minero, sage of, hide the key, southeast, in trust, future, wish, defeat, demon king. That's all I can make out. There's some lettering I can't figure out before Southeast, but Mineru seems to be someone's name. <gasps> hmm. Look at the context of Mineru. I do believe this is the first time one of these slabs has put a name to a sage. It also mentions Zelda and a demon king. How fascinating. <laughs> Aha! The inscriptions are telling us all sorts of essential information. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. It's just that part before the southeast section. I think it says Dragonland. Hmm? Ah, you're right! Paya knows her stuff. This should be read as Dragonland Southeast. Fantastic work, Paya. Oh, thank goodness. I've proven useful. It seems my continued Zonai language studies have paid off. Oh no, I'm being upstaged. <clears throat> Where were we? Something about the, a dragon land to the southeast? Hmm. How familiar are you with the southeast of Hyrule? There's a site in Farron that has long been known as the Zonai Ruins. It predates the ruins falling from the sky and is home to many ancient relics. If memory serves, there were dragon designs on those ruins that I haven't seen anywhere else. <laughs> oh, Caleb! Great catch! The Zonai Ruins in Farron! 
There's a good chance that's exactly what this is pointing us at. Mm. That's our Kellop. Fantastic work. I, I, what did you just say? <laughs> that this inscription is pointing us toward Fair and Zonai ruins? Oh. No, not that. The next bit. A certain adjective was used. I believe it started with a with fan and ended in tastic. What was it again? Mm. Ah, fantastic work. You mean? <laughs> he, yes, fantastic work. That is what you said. Hmm. Yes. Kalip, what fantastic work he said. Huh. Fantastic. Me. Oh. Kalip is very silly. Link, when we put together the script on the stone slab and translate it, we we get def definite mentions of the Sage Mineru, the Demon King, and someone with the same name as Princess Zelda. Something related to all three of them must be waiting at the Zonai Ruins in Southeast Hyrule. Uh. We've landed on a real catch here. Thank you for your help, truly. Now we've no time to dawdle. There's research to be done. <laughs> Callop, will you join me? <laughs> oh, of course. I would be a <clears throat> fantastic addition to the team. Mm. Very good. With that settled, let's be off to the Zonai Ruins in Farron. First, we head southwest. We'll establish a base in the po Popple Foothills at the Skyview Tower by the ruins. Way over there. Okay. In search of new discoveries, <laughs> we make for Farron. All right. Happy to see that. So they're off. <sighs> they left just like that. Well, I'm sure those two will be fine. Just you and me now. <laughs> I must study more about the Zonai civilization so I don't fall behind Taro and Kalip. Yet it seems somewhat frivolous next to the mystery of the real Princess Zelda's whereabouts. I don't doubt that she is safe and well. I must believe that. As chief of this village, I can't leave my pe people, so I must place the search in your capable hands. I pray that Princess Zelda will return to us soon. The secret of the ring ruins has been updated. You decipher the Zonai text carved in the stone slab inside the ring ruin. Taru, or Taro and his colleague are following a lead to the Zonai ruins in the balmy Farron of the Southeast. They're gathering at the Skyview Tower near the ruins, so maybe that's where we'll head next episode. The Zonai ruins that Taru and Kelop went to? I must admit I'm not too knowledgeable about that place. However, this is what I know. There's an investigation site set up at the Skyview Tower in the Popple Foothills, southwest of our village. That's what they said, in any case. I'm sure those two will be all right. They are quite savvy. I firmly believe that they will make a huge discovery about the Demon King and the Sage called Mineru. Yeah, I sure hope so. So one thing I want to do is definitely explore more Kakarika Village here. I want to go back to the inn to see, you know, that one side quest we sort of started. I think that might be, you know, all finished up at the least. That'd be pretty cool. So we'll head over here. I think this was the inn. I'm the sleepy one here. Hey, there you are. Sounds like I've got you to thank for waking this guy up. No more watching the inn for me. Here's a little something for giving me back my free time. The Sticky Elixir, which gives us nine minutes of slip resistance. Grants a high level slip resistance to keep you from slipping on wet surfaces. Its highly absorptive ingredients make it a must have for sudden rainfalls. That's cool. It's a high quality concoction made of four sticky frogs and a bokoblin horn. Should come in handy on your rainy day adventures. Right then, now to finally take that nap. I might even splurge on a soft bed. Out of the inn, complete. Always return to the inn, freed die from the responsibilities of watching over it. Better yet, now you can sleep here. <laughs> yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Once I rest up, I'll be hitting the road again. I've stayed here too long as it is. Before I go, I need to pick up a ring garland as a souvenir. All right. Ooh. You're a customer, right? Thanks for waking me up with the scent of that truffle. I'll think of its aroma the next time I drift off to sleep. Very much appreciated. Ooh. The person on the survey team was telling me about that stone slab, and before I knew it, you know. The last thing I heard before I fell asleep was that there are more stone slabs with writing on them. Well, regular bed is 20 rupees, and the the soft bed is 30 rupees, I guess. Uh, let's try the soft bed. So, um, when should I wake you? Just in the morning. Good morning? Alrighty, if you insist. I wonder if I'll be awake. <laughs> I sure hope so. I really hope that, you know, that's sort of the whole part of your job. That's why I'm paying you. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'm paying for the bed, too. All right, we're back up. Do we get 
Some bonus health, yes we do. Good morning. All right, that's great. Oh, somebody's already snoozing over here. Ruins, stone slabs, so much mystery. Tell me about it. So we have found three out of the five stone slabs, it seems. We found one that guy was sleeping on. We found another that the person was picking seeds from. And then, of course, we found one on our own near the floating ring ruin. I didn't find any during or near the giant one, which was really weird to me. Is that a... That's a sky island over there, but with the, the green mist over there, I got a little confused. I don't know why there wasn't one over there. But I figured the best thing to do for right now is just to climb right back up there and just try to figure out some more stuff. So if we could get up from this way, it might just be a little bit faster to use Ascend. Just like this. And then we'll do that. I might just want to use the ladder here. It doesn't seem very useful to try to fit our way under it sometimes. There we go. So yeah, we went up that way, but if we go this other direction, there seems like there's more ruins, and on top of that, there's definitely like a depths area, which seems really crazy. But what about some of these? We have the East Hill here in West Nakuda. And most of these don't seem to have anything. They just need to be chunks that probably just blasted off on their way down. So maybe not worth like really touching on too much, but way up here, this is what I'm curious about, because this is where things get a little bit more detailed. This is where we saw the dragon dive into the, the depths, which is crazy. Um, I guess first, I will try to get up here, just like that. And we'll see if there's anything going on up here. Okay, Link, please grab the ladder. Oh, there are definitely people up here. Right, back to work. This is Zalis. Morning. You come all the way out here to see the Ring Ruins. I'll be. Watch your steps so you don't fall into that chasm or get personal with any gloom. Uh -huh. If you just can't help yourself gloom-wise, look for a resident gloom specialist. Eba, by the tents. Anyhow, the chief here is determined to keep the ruins open for viewing. Must you clear the stone slabs in the ring ruins. Can't replace those. Stone slabs? Uh -huh. Did you know five, five, count them, five ruins fell around here? They're called the ring ruins. We discovered stone slabs inside each of them inscribed with Zonai writing. Each slab tells a different story. The one in this rune is about, let's see. Mm. Wind, fire, water, lightning, time, and uh. light. That was it. It says that people with powers like those could amplify them with secret stones to perform great deeds. If you want more than a synopsis, you can take a look at the translated text posted near the slab. Mm. I wanted to learn to read the Zonai script from Taro, but I should wait until my current assignment is finished with. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so there's a little note here. Note on the table. Eastern Ring Ruin Research Journal, Eba. Given its location near the edge of the chasm, researching this ruin involves some level of inherent danger. So our, as our resident gloom expert, I volunteered to head up this operation. As with the other ring ruins, our investigation turned up a stone slab etched with Zonai writing. Some of the villagers who came to help clear the rubble came into contact with the gloom. One still hasn't recovered. All of the herbs effective against gloom have been used up to tending to the wounded of Lookout Landing. The herb in question was a yellow plant I'd stumbled upon in my previous research. Very likely a new speci species, I think the Sundelion. Given how difficult it is to procure, I've been working tirelessly to develop some sort of alternative cure. I hope I can help with that somehow. Whoa. Oh, and I think this is actually showing where the other stone slabs are. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so. I don't know if I can zoom out from here. Uh, let's just use this instead. So we're right there, if we go down that way. Okay, I sort of see what's going on. I think it might be that one over there, or maybe even way over that way. It can be sort of hard to tell, but I think this is indicating where the five stone slabs are. Um, hi. I think that a chasm would open so close to a village. This warrants constant observation. Zalus is leading the Ring Ruins investigation, so that leaves me to free free, free to focus on Gloom. <clears throat> Watch it! We always do that. Don't startle me. Phew, that was close. I could have fallen. Oh, wait. I heard all about your assistance with Taro's Ruins investigation. Now, what brings you here? Have you come from a professional consultation on Gloom, perhaps? What is Gloom? Well, <clears throat> if I'm honest, even an expert like me doesn't know exactly what Gloom really is. The Deaths, you know the Deaths, don't you? The vast dark expanse that the chasms led to? Yo, yeah, explored them last episode. 
<laughs> anyway, you can find gloom all over the depths. It emerges from these chasms to taint the surface. Oh. Just touching it will steal your vitality, so watch out. Dreadful stuff. Huh. Unfortunately, that's about as far as my research has taken me. What if you get <laughs> sick? Huh? What's this? Are you asking because you're planning a trip down the chasm? Well, bravery. If you touch gloom and become unwell, come to the surface right away. That's the most important thing. Certain foods may help. I did feel better when I tried nibbling a yellow plant I found near the, the fallen ruins. I tried researching the plant to confirm my results, but I can't find any records of it. Come to think of it, I heard Cory discovered a new species plant. Perhaps I'll ask her. Well, yeah, I think that is the same plant. And I figure maybe later we'll hop down there at least to get one of the light roots so we can go back down there anytime we want. But for right now, I need to find this last slab. It's gotta be around here somewhere, or second to last slab, actually. I'll be looking around for it, or right by the entrance of this chasm. Right, back to work. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I definitely wanna check this out. Pretty cool slab. I don't need to get a picture of this one, but the stone slab at the Eastern Ring Ruin. Some translation notes, Tara. Wind, flame, water, lightning, and the light, or uh, end time, light, who holds the power, secret stone, and that person, dwell within, power, amplify, great, might, display. The thrust of the message on this slab is about something called secret stones. Those who held power, such as wind, flame, water, lightning, and light, and time, amplified them with secret stones. So is the last sage gonna be a sage of light? Because we have wind, flame, water, lightning, and time. It has to be light. Whoa. They use the stones to attain great might to accomplish their goals. That's what I'm guessing it would say if we could read the whole thing. That has to be it. So that's a huge revelation. This new sage that we're trying to find, Mineru, is the sage of light. All right, well, I'll probably wanna hop into that, like I said, just in a little bit. So this is the eastern slab. So if we angle it like this, right? We found the southern one. I think we're just trying to find that western one over there, right? I don't know. Maybe up that way? Have we not been over there? I guess not. Okay, well, the hunt continues, unless it's that, but no, I don't think I've been over there. So I guess we can try that. So we just need to hop all the way down over to here. Oh. Whoa, rain! <laughs> Quick, Totsi, we'll get wet! Do I know you? Wait, you're not Tatsuna. What business do you have startling folks like that? Sorry. All right, well, we'll leave them be. I'm trying to get up this way now, because I think this might be where the last stone slab is, which would be a very exciting find. Because as you can see, we're still getting very valuable information from all this. Because we sort of, yeah, walked right by this one, but I guess I didn't really climb up it, did I? So we're just gonna get all the way up here. Or did we? No, 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 this is the one we found. This is the one with the person who's trying to find, I don't know, so weird that. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Maybe there isn't anything here after all. This is where I found the sunlight, so there must be seeds or something. I, what if I, what if I dropped one? Cause I have some. If I dropped one right next to you, just like I did with the truffle, the other person. I gotta have one around here, right? Uh, these are all monster parts. The fish, the flowers, okay. I have 50 of them. Here you go. <laughs> okay, you don't care. <laughs> Interesting. Good to know though. So yeah, it's not here. So it's just gotta be somewhere else. I did notice that way up this way. Yeah, I'm finding some more. Okay, so. We're at this sort of southwest entrance behind the shrine, and it looks like there might be something or someone out this way, yeah. So this might be the last one we're looking for, which is pretty cool. So let's see all these guys. Hi. Offense is best, fortify your defense. Oh, there's a lot of people out here. On and on you go with your best defense is a good offense nonsense. And now it's, an, it's afternoon already. We haven't gotten any closer to getting rid of those monsters. We won't as long as you keep turning it upside down. The best offense is not a good defense. Mm -hmm. You stubborn old codger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look who's talking. Uh-oh, codger's quarrel. <laughs> oh boy, so these two are in quite the argument. Steen and Alkin went to drive monsters out of the ring ruin in the hills of the west of the village, but they're arguing over the right way to 
deal with the problem, and so they're getting nowhere with clearing out the monsters. So hopefully that's something we can help with then. Uh, interesting, so hopefully this is where we can find the last one. Good grief, those two really don't get along. You know what I mean? Those two? Ah. I mean those two squabblers over there. I want to investigate the ring room nestled in these hills, but some monsters have set up camp there. I heard these two are competing to be the town's top fighter, so I asked them to clear out the monsters. But this is all they do. Uh, There's a stone slab in the nestled ring ruin inscribed with Zonai ruin. Right, writing. <laughs> what if the monsters destroy that pri priceless artifact? Huh. Why did I ask those two for help? Will they say anything more? Maybe they'll join us while you've been going on and on with your poppycock about offense being superior to defense. We're stuck here until you see reason. We need to clear out those monsters. What? Don't blame me. We can't go to get to those monsters because you keep spitting out all your foolish talk. There's no way that defense is better than offense. You know what? I'm done. You can just go off and defend yourself all you want. I'm not going to be worm food. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Also, you guys did let me know that if I whistle, oh no, I might also get the attention of some monsters, but it'll bring all my friends closer. So I wanted to do some of that. You. That's what I want the most. Ready, and boom, there we go, much better. Um, let's get some good weapons out then and get to fighting. Okay, our hammer's badly damaged and it's already gone. Uh, we could try some other stuff here, but I'll steal your weapon. I'll lose some health from the gloom stuff, but I just wanna beat this silver guy as fast as possible. There we go, cool. So, the night shield, I'm too full on inventory for it, but I can now just deal with you. And that was pretty good, there's still one more enemy up there that we dealt with pretty quickly, and that should finish it off. You defeated all the monsters, monsters in the ring ruin in the hills west of the village. You should t tell Steen and Olkin. They should be glad to hear it, given that they're still arguing over the best plan for dealing with them. I will in just a moment. Might as well just grab some extra goodies while I'm here and uh, kick open this uh, chest. And inside we find a giant bright bloom seed at times five. Nothing too crazy exciting, but I guess it'll eventually be useful. Whoa, so maybe the, um, the slab is right here. So let's go talk to these two who are quarreling. And I guess we'll see for ourselves what they have to say. What? I don't believe it. You defeated the monsters. Just who are you? Th that was some kind of fight he did there, Olkin. It sure was. A firm grasp of defense and a strong hand with offense. Have I had it wrong all these years? It's plain as day now. You can't defeat your enemies purely with defense. No, I had it wrong. If you just attack, you're gonna get to get hurt or worse. Well, the important thing is that we've realized the truth before it's too late. We need to, a balance between the two. And this fine fighter here showed us the way. I don't know if this is a good reward, but Olkin knows a thing or two about defense, and I'm all about offense. I doubt there's much a warrior like you could learn from the likes of us, but glad to help if we can. Well. Now that the monsters are gone, I'd suggest that we head back to our village. Ah. Right. I bet my Triss's store is running low on goods right about now. People there must be in deep need. All right, well, cool. Kadra's quarrel's been updated. By defeating the monsters in the ring ruin in the hills west of the village, you showed Steen and Olkin that both offense and defensive fighting methods are important. Trissa has been waiting for them to return. Report back to her. So. I'll track that for now. Um, I'm glad it's safe now. Now that you've chased off the monsters, I can go back to investigating the stone slab in the ring ruin. Thank you, stone slab. This is one of the five ring-shaped ruins that fell in the area. They're all broken broken open, except for that floating one within the village itself. When that happened, chambers with the stone slabs were exposed. The These slabs provide rare examples of Zonai writing. Ah. Someone had placed them very carefully. They must have been important objects. I can't believe I get to study them. Toro has translated a bit of it already. This particular stone slab seems to detail requirements of becoming a sage. Apparently, not only did you need to be exceptional in some way, you also needed a secret stone. <laughs> I never heard of these secret stones before reading this. There's still so much mystery in the world. If you want the exact text, you can read the translation next to the stone slab. Uh... It must have been important. It's a shame we don't get no what they meant by sage and secret stone. Well, I might have a couple ideas. So that's pretty darn cool that we're able to discover all that, and now I'll be able to look around this area and just sort of see what there might be to sort of find that might be nice and extra. 
Uh, so the stone slab was, I think, right over there, but we also have this wall, which I'm going to get. Okay, well, I'll get a, an extra bow. But more than that, if we get you, boom, to break that open, there's a chest on the other side. Very cool. So what will we get in this one more Bright Bloom Seeds? We get a Mighty Zonite Sword with durability up plus. Okay, not too bad. I think that I don't really need it right now, right? I mean, I guess I can hold on to it because it's always good to combo these with other things, but what did I just pick up? I picked up this, the Spiked Iron Ball Hammer. Hmm, that might be good to keep. I don't think I need the Royal Halberd Spear. It doesn't even do too much damage. I'm gonna drop that. I'm gonna keep this Mighty Zonite Sword and I will, uh try to use it soon. And I think this is one I've already had, right? I don't need to take a picture of this. Yep, okay, we're good. Anyways, let's see our last slab here. I wanna read all about this. The stone slab with the nestled ring ruin. Some translation notes, Taro. Those who, mostly among the granted qualifications are chosen as sages. Those worthy secret stones and henceforth, sages. Clearly, the sages are the subject of the slab. Filling in the blanks, I think it's basically saying, talented individuals become sages by taking up secret stones. Which, as you can see, we've had that experience four times here. So, yeah, pretty cool that we're getting some information sort of revealed, but also some information confirmed on what we already knew. So, that's quite cool. With all five slabs found, though, I don't know if there's really too much more I want to do besides um, figuring out this Kadra's Quarrel, and then we'll hop down into the depths in that one area, just if I can just find one um, little area to hang out or something, that'd be cool. Let's see if this rock is anything, by the way. Probably not. Oh, it's a little frog underneath. Thank you, hot-footed frog. It was yeah, right down here that we're looking to get into. So, yeah, this inn, I remember now. And oh, who's this? They're all so high up. This is Bagud. Hey there, hope you're not skipping lunch. Did you visit the Ring Ruins? I would if I wasn't scared of heights. I just got finished exploring them all. A member of the survey team told me that what was written on the slab in the Ring Ruin that floats above the village. But if you've read one of the slabs in any of the other four Ring Ruins, tell me what it says. I read what's on a slab. What? You want to see them for me? So, what do they say? All sorts of stuff. Back in ancient Hyrule, people called sages protected the kingdom. I see, how fascinating. I bet those sages were nearly as strong and wise as Princess Zelda herself. Thank you for telling me about that slab. Truly fascinating stuff. Just three left. I can only imagine what discoveries lie in store. Is this a quest? You know, you're a good kid to take the time to tell me about all this. I'd never be able to take a look back at it all myself with, or take a look at it all myself with the, my fear of heights. I guess it isn't. They have an exclamation mark next to their name. You'd think some of the ring ruins would have landed close to the ground. But no, every single one had to fall all the way up high. Ugh, I are the worst. The researchers told me that with what the slab and the floating ring ruins said, but I wish I knew the contents of the other four. I read what's on the slab. What? You want to see them for me? So, what did they say? There were once people blessed by wind, fire, water, and lightning, as well as time and light. And these people use secret stones to amplify their powers. Wow. They must have had some pretty amazing rocks way back then, huh? I feel bad about asking you to find all this out for me since you're sightseeing too. But we're so close now, I need to know what each one of the slabs say. Well, I know. You had a chance to see more? What was written on them? So in the this ancient battle, the king and all the sages fought the demon king, but they couldn't defeat him. Still, they tried to leave a glimmer of hope behind for the people of the future. For us. That's really something, huh? Hey, you don't think the upheaval is some kind of sign of the Demon King's resurrection, do you? That's exactly what it is. <laughs> it c can't be, right? I must be overthinking things. Thanks so much for that. Only one left. What secrets do you think we'll learn? I read what's on the slab. You had a chance to see more? What was written on them? So it's not enough to be exceptional. You need a secret stone to be a sage, or so it seems at least. What is a secret stone? If it's that special, I'm sure its beauty would put a diamond to shame. So that was the fourth one? I see. Hmm? Wait a second. If you put all that together with what the survey team member told me about the sleet and the floating ring ruin, it all forms a single message. So this sage Mineru is offering us some sort of clue to 
Hmm. Oh, I give up. I can't do this. All this puzzle solving stuff makes my head hurt. Oh well. At the end of the day, I learned a little something about our history. Thank you for everything. From one side seer to another, I'd like to reward you with one of my personal favorite travel necessities. Thunderwing butterfly. This rare butterfly only shows itself when it rains. The organs in its body produce an insulating compound. When made into an elixir, it offers electrical resistance. Those are thunderwing butterflies. I caught these unusual insects on my travels through the Farron region, and only come out in the rain. You can boil them with monster parts to make an elixir that grants you resistance to electricity. Remember that. It'll come in handy on your travels. Take it from me. All right then, I'll see you around. Very cool, a trip through history completed. It never even told me that like this one was starting, but I'm glad we completed a trip through history. You can tell Bagut about what you read on the stone slabs in each of the four non-floating ring ruins. He was delighted to get these insights into the ancient era of the ruin that the ruins came from. Very cool. So, if we just wanna go into the inn really quickly to complete another side quest here, welcome. Well, visitor, I heard the news. You've done us a huge favor. Those two have argued about offense and defense since they were barely old enough to walk. They just praised each other's vegetables, and now it's like a brand new day for those old coots. We've also got some stock back in. It's happy, so it's happy days all around. That reminds me. Please take this. Oh, we got an Endura carrot. Highly valued as a medicinal plant, this carrot contains large amounts of nourishing energy. When cooked into a dish, it boosts your stamina beyond its maximum limit. That's called an Endura carrot get to gain some stamina. It's a precious natural remedy. It's been prized since old times, and it's become remarkably rare of late. Please, take it with you on your journey. Aww. Thank you, truly. Please drop by any time. I'm glad I could help. So Kadra's quarrel is complete. Steen and Ulk, who stocked the general store, are back home at their village and seem to have resolved their differences. Trissa was beyond happy to see that the two are getting along. She gave you an Endura carrot as thanks. And then do you have more? Oh, hello, welcome in. Those old coots finally made up, so I have a strong stock of ingredients for sale again. Except, there is one little problem. Bird eggs are still in short supply around here. The cuckoos still lay their eggs every morning, of course, but they just started laying them in a new spot. I tried following them once to find their new nesting place, but I'm not as quick on my feet as I once was. Given how well the bird eggs sell, I usually like having 10 or so on hand, so I can easily restock them, but oh well. Follow the Kukas is our new side quest. Dear me, apologies for going on and on about my old worries. So what can I help you with? Uh, recommendations? Ah. Let's see, of course. I'll recommend the swift carrots by Mr. Cruz. They're nothing, there's nothing better. But Oaken's fortified pumpkins are also a good choice. We didn't use to stock them, you know. Old Oaken and my mister quarreled for years and years. <laughs> and now they get on and we have those pumpkins. It's a miracle. So what can I help you with? That's it. Ah. Stop by any time. So yeah, I guess we have another quest there. It was follow the cuckoos. Trissa is at a loss. The local cuckoos are nesting somewhere new and she cannot gather any bird eggs for her shop. She says she'd like to have 10 since they're in such, such a popular item. It seems the cuckoos all go off somewhere when morning comes. So we'll have to investigate that one at some point. I just wanna make sure, is there anything I need a picture of? I am doubtful. It looks like we have everything. This one's still empty, but that's gonna be the cuckoo eggs. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. We were able to explore a lot of Kakarika Village. We found all five of the slabs of the Ring Ruins and so much more. So I guess in the next episode, we'll be trying to make our way to Farron, a place we haven't been to before, so that we can continue our current adventure, which of course was, um, I guess for the most part, the secret of the Ring Ruins. So we made some good progress. There's still plenty more to do in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.